Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the David Dash Podcast. I do hope all of you and your families are doing well in these crazy times. Let's all stay on the safe side of things, although quarantine restrictions are already easing up, at least for most of us. Today, we are going to talk about COVID. No, we are not going to talk about the disease. We are going to give COVID different definitions to help you stay negative from the virus, but not negative when it comes to living your life. I'm going to make the acronym COVID stand for something else, and you tell me which version or versions apply to you best. Before we get started, this podcast is brought to you by your needs and protection pal for your life protection and financial planning needs. You now have a pal you can trust and depend on, and securing your family's future can now be done digitally. That means you can do it without even leaving the comfort of your home. So get started now by sending your needs and protection pal a message on Facebook. Don't worry, be protected. Also brought to us by Promised Land PH. Realize your real estate dreams and investment with the help of a licensed real estate practitioner. You can find your own land of promise. Just go to promisedlandph.com or you can reach Miss Charmaine Plasos at 0917-557-5263. That's 0917-557-5263. Promised Land PH, your trusted realtor in Cebu and beyond. Also sponsored by Sleepyhead Clothing, dedicated to customer choice. Whether it's just one shirt for an individual client or a larger production run for a business, we can provide the expertise and experience to translate your vision into reality. Quality shirts, affordable prices, we deliver that. Visit Sleepyhead Clothing on Facebook and drop a message for queries and quotation requests. And now, it's time for... David Dash Presents... What good does COVID mean for you? Definition number one. COVID stands for Constant Optimistic Views Inspire Dreams. Let me repeat that for you. Constant Optimistic Views Inspire Dreams. Stay positive is what I would have told everyone, but in this pandemic, it's better to be specific and not be ambiguous. So instead, let me say, stay optimistic. Even during hardships, even during trials, challenges, problems, stay optimistic. If you do, you will have a positive impact not only on yourself, but also on the people around you. Seeing that you never lose hope, seeing that you are still cheerful, will inspire them to also aspire to accomplish their hopes and dreams in life. Number two, COVID stands for come over, visit international destinations. Yes, at the moment, there are travel restrictions, but when this is all over, it's time for you to go. No one will be able to stop you, and once you get started, you will want to go visit some more beautiful countries that you've only previously read about. It's time to wander as far as you could go without worrying about getting lost, because you won't. There's always Google Maps, right? For the meantime, while waiting, save what you can so you can spend it on your vacations. And of course, if you still have it, go get your passport. Number three, COVID stands for completely open to very interesting deals. Completely open to very interesting deals. Times are changing. We are adapting to the so-called new normal. Sometimes you also have to do something completely different than usual, something you have never done before. When opportunity knocks, don't immediately say no. Hear it out first and remember to keep an open mind. If you find it interesting, strike that deal and you'll be on your way to success. Number four, COVID stands for Consistently Outstanding on Various Initiatives for Development. Consistently Outstanding on Various Initiatives for Development. It's time for you to stop procrastinating. Don't slack off. Focus. Concentrate on your dreams, goals, and your tasks at hand and you will be very outstanding at what you do. Take initiative and your ideas will develop into something great. Number five. Cook often viands that are incredibly delicious. Ah, hi there, chef. If you're already into cooking, keep going. If you still aren't, 
Time to put on a new hat and start turning ingredients into tasty, mouth-watering, delicious dishes that will surely delight all who would eat in your lavish feast. You can start small, but perhaps you'll soon have a famous restaurant in five years' time. Number six, COVID. Comply only with valid ID. Word of caution, don't trust strangers too much. Remember to check and verify their information before you proceed with your transactions. In the same way, also identify yourself properly. Show that you are a trustworthy person and do nothing to taint your integrity so you can establish good working and personal relationships that can make you succeed and excel at what you are doing. Number seven, COVID stands for carry out various instructions diligently. Follow directions and when you do, wonderful things will start happening around you. Always keep in mind the instructions, meditate on it day and night, and be careful to do everything as commanded. Then you will be prosperous and successful. And yes, that's Joshua 1 8 for you Bible folks out there. Number eight, COVID. Continue onward to the verge of important discovery. Continue onward to the verge of important discovery. Don't stop, keep moving forward. You hit a wall, find another way. If you can't find the way, create it, and you'll soon be on the verge of a very important discovery. You might be able to discover something about yourself or something that could help you, your family, and the entire world. Number nine, communicate with own voice to illuminate decisions. Communicate with own voice to illuminate decisions. It's now time for you to speak up. Don't wait for someone else to say something in your behalf. Telling the world what's on your mind might help in making better decisions. Your opinion could be the best solution to a problem, but it will never be known if you stay silent. Number 10. Claim overwhelming victory with intensive defense. Claim overwhelming victory with intensive defense. Defense wins championships and not just in sports, but also in real life. Other people may keep attacking you, but if you have a rock-solid shield, you are untouchable. Defend with truth, kindness, and love, and surely their weapons won't work. Their strikes will backfire. You don't even have to counterattack. Your enemies will self-destruct. Number 11. Continue original vision to immobilize doubt. Continue original vision to immobilize doubt. You've had your plans in place, but the pandemic struck. Now that we are slowly easing into a new normal, it is wise to continue where you have left off. Your doubts should not be able to stop you from realizing your dreams. It might be a little delayed and you may need some new strategies, but you should keep fighting to stay on the right track. Don't give up. Number 12. COVID stands for Create Opportune Value for Insistent Demand. Create Opportune Value for Insistent Demand. Now is the time for innovation and new ideas, and you can be at the heart of all that. Breakthrough concepts and products that would be hits because they are in demand. Seize the opportunity and give your community and the world things that they won't be able to get enough of. Bonus! Yes, we have a bonus definition of COVID. COVID stands for Champion Obliterates Villains for Immense Delight. Champion obliterates villains for immense delight. Fight for your cause and keep on fighting till the end because you are a champion, my friend. You are a champion, my friend. Replace indecision and doubt with courage and determination. Then you will be able to defeat your enemies and the world will be so happy to be saved by you. So... There you go, guys. We now have answered the question, what good does COVID mean for you? Now that you have heard those definitions, which one or which ones do you like best? Which is most applicable for you? Or maybe you could create your own that you could personally relate with. I do hope that somehow, some way, this episode of the David Dash podcast has helped you with your outlook and your perspective as we go through with a new normal. May this strike inspiration Bring hope and may we keep the faith that God is still in control and He will take care of His children. By the way, this podcast is made possible by the Buy Family Store for your essentials, 
ilon, snacks, and more. Visit the Bay Family Store at Proper Tunghaan, Minglanilia. Anhi na tabay, palit na sa Dubai. Once again, we would like to thank our sponsors, Your Needs and Protection Pal, Promise Land PH, and Sleepyhead Clothing. Shout out to my wife, Gods and Debbie. Thank you always for the support. So that's about it for now. Until the next episode, stay safe, you guys. My name is David Dash. Hobie Ho, got to go. Yaha!